Lee's Conway with Relish Tots here. I just want to demonstrate for you how to do eyelashes and a cute little nose and we're even going to do just some um, little blush cheeks on this cute little lady. So I, for this one I quite like using um, embroidery thread just because it gives her a really delicate little look. So to do the eyelashes what we're going to do is take our needle in one, two stitches along and bring it out just in the corner of the eye there. And then we just want to leave just an end here just because we're going to use that to secure it all off later. So for my first eyelash I'm going to take the needle back in the first stitch and I'm going to bring it out one stitch above and pull that out here and then I'm going to go back into the same corner post and bring it out one row up and one stitch along pull that a little bit out so let's just pull that there might be a little bit short when we come to that later I'm going to take the needle back in that corner that's getting a little bit fiddly because on the back of this is the safety eye ring which can pose some difficulties sometimes so what we're going to do is then bring the needle out the other side to start the next eyelash set because now you'll see we have completed the three eyelashes on that side so then we want to take the needle back in and then we're going to bring it out one stitch above. So we're doing exactly the same as we did before, just on the other side. And back in that corner and up. Now you can make these as long or as wide or however you want to make them look pretty. We're going to go straight from there. I'm going to come down. Again, the back is proving a little bit tricky. And we're going to start the nose. So we bring it out. And we're just going to do a tiny, cute little nose. So I'm going to just do it two stitches across. And then I'm going to do just another little one. Making sure I bring it out the same place. And one more. We're using thinner line. And a yarn. And then just to make a little tiny triangle, I'm going to go in, bottom, there, and then in there again. And bring it out. My first stitch there. So if I tie a knot. Yeah. Should have left myself a little bit more yarn to play with, but there we go. So make your double knot one and two. And then take the yarn back through the head. There. And this one's going to be a little bit more tricky because there's not much of it. What I might do is just pop the needle in first and then thread it in and pull that through. So there we go. That's then hidden the knot that secures it and the thread. So I'm just going to trim that off there and that off there. I give it a little squeeze. Those will just disappear into the head and there we've got some little eyelashes and a cute little nose. If there's any fibre fill there you can just pull that out. There we go. Now if you'd like to give her little brush, blush cheeks you can just take any sort of pink or red 
crayon or pencil and then you can just draw on the side and then again on this side as light or as dark as you like and there you have it cute little rabbit